Now, a movie about a sea battle that occurred more than 400 years ago is taking the Korean box office by storm. Roaring Currents has been breaking records since its release late last month, and the success has spawned fresh interest in the movie's main character, one of Korea's most revered heroes, Admiral Lee Sun Shin. Our Son Jung In reports. Since its opening on July 30th, the period blockbuster Roaring Currents, known in Korea as Myeongryang, has been setting new box office records by the day. Following the nation's largest ever opening of 680,000 viewers, the movie became the fastest film to sell 3 million tickets just four days after its release. It also attracted more than 1.2 million moviegoers this past Saturday, which happens to be the largest single-day total in Korean film history. I heard the movie has been attracting a record of viewers, so I came to watch it with my mom. Movie critics believe the film's popularity stems not only from its high cinematic quality, but also from a desire to witness leadership at its highest level. The film depicts the historic battle of Myeongyang during the Japanese invasion of Korea in 1592. Admiral Lee Sun-shin, with just 12 vessels under his command, managed to fend off and destroy a Japanese fleet of more than 330 ships. The movie's success has spilled into Korean bookstores as well. A novel that shares the same name as the movie is a top seller, and other books on the Japanese invasion of Korea are being picked up again. Author Kim Hoon's Song of a Sword, or Karenore, has enjoyed a fresh wave of interest. I think the recent trend represents the people's desire for a role model, someone we can learn strong leadership and strategy from. The record-breaking film is set to sail into U.S. theaters on August 15th, which is Korea's Liberation Day, under the title The Admiral. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.